And when an officer is attacked, they can use techniques like this. Teaching Academy Tim Melton says it takes at least 400 hours to make this a habit. Lieutenant Collins says to easily complete this course, it's all about muscle memory. These chose to limit making undergraduate program tuition by 2.5 percent, up law school tuition by 2 percent, and for medical students, you'll see no increase at all. Altogether, the university will see a 1.7 increase overall. According to Jackie Hicks, not only is it affordable to buy in the Macon housing market, but also to rent. One thing they did say with all the shootings happening, they want change and they need answers. There's been five shootings that happened in a 24 hour period last weekend in West Macon. A waitress at 2J's waits on a table full of friends. They pay with their credit card. A few days later, bogus charges on all their bank statements. Police have increased patrols because of that tragic incident. Down here, you can see a makeshift memorial with flowers and candles, all in remembrance of that Winter Park High School student. Yes! Okay, I'm a drummer now. Reporting live in Macon by my Lions, WGXA News. We broke the law and we, ac we accept those consequences. There's no reason for my son to be locked up like a criminal. Susanna and Matthew Brill say the last time they saw him, their 15-year-old son, David, loved his bike, spending time with his family and his service dog. My child no longer has that. He no longer has hope. On April 20th, the Brill son was taken away by the Department of Family and Children's Services after they admitted giving him marijuana. They say it helped with his seizures. They look at their child in a ball in the middle of the floor, unable to do anything, but their entire body is convulsing and tensed up. And you have to pick your child up and carry them to your vehicle because you live 45 minutes away from help. I hope no parent ever has to do that. The Brill said before that they had tried everything doctors prescribed. Oh, he's still having seizures. Let's up it again. <laughs> Boom, grandma seizure. But the Brill say marijuana was the only thing they found that worked. Oh, they're, they're so worse to describe the hopelessness. Twiggs County Sheriff Darren Mitchum says his deputies' hands were tied when they issued warrants for the Brill's arrest. The fact is, as of today, marijuana is not legal in the state of Georgia to possess or smoke or use for recreational use. Susanna and Matthew Brill say they haven't seen their son since April 20th, and they want him back home. The biggest thing I'm missing, I'm missing a five-year shadow. <laughs> cover anything, just had dozed off to sleep, and then... Just an ex I, I can't explain it other than a bomb going off. It was just the loudest explosion. Hail, high speed winds and rain hit Debbie Smith's house with full force last night, but it was a strike of lightning hitting her roof that left the biggest mark. Firefighters say that with that type of impact, she's lucky her whole house isn't gone. With what they saw, that it didn't spread any more than what it had. It was contained. I mean, and it, and it needs to be fixed and there's damage, but they said it could have been a lot lot worse. Charred debris now covers the floor of Smith's home. It did not burn. It just melted in. She says she saw the storm warnings but did not create a plan. That's not something you get to in your normal day. It's like, okay, I'll take care of that later. I'll take care of that later. Well, now is later. Today, Smith is creating an emergency contact list and plan as recommended by Middle Georgia Emergency Management Agency. She says next time she wants to be more prepared. Director Matt Perry says it's important to have emergency go bag that incorporates water, non-perishables, and a flashlight. Although still dealing with the aftermath, Smith remains positive. It's more likely to get struck by lightning than win the lottery. I figured my mods were a little bit better today, so. In Forsyth, Barmel Lions, WGXA News. Just trying to make any kind of difference that I can. You know, I just really enjoy that. Just super passionate about it. Really excited to be here. <laughs> From recruitment to basic training, when it comes to being a law enforcement officer, there are many steps involved. Academy manager for Georgia Public Safety Training Center, Timothy Melton, says training is not only physical, but mental. You go from a seated position, working with some paperwork, and all of a sudden responding to an emergency. Right, from squad leaders from each group, 
to go down to room 116, room 116. Over the course of 11 weeks, cadets learned over 40 topics, from the basics to laws of interrogation. The cadets cover how to safely drive emergency vehicles, something that according to Melton has the most liability. Driving primarily because they're in the vehicle majority of their day. Students also learn different combat techniques. Cadet Diana Bird says four months ago she was nervous about joining. I was a little bit hesitant. Can I do this? Is this something that I can do? It's absolutely incredible. And they just make you feel like you can do anything. Melton even taught me a few techniques. So that's it. <laughs> and when an officer is attacked, they can use techniques like this. Teaching Academy Tim Melton says it takes at least 400 hours to make this a habit. The Academy also covers firearm safety in and outside the classroom. <laughs> Melton says the training and hard work comes full circle for cadets. So that is when they come back, they're telling me, hey, I've had to do this, I've done this, I've done this, and she said, it, it all makes sense to me now. Reporting in Forsyth, Barma Lions, WGXA News.